Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmor. This is video 13, and today we're going to be talking about the strum. I think it's kind of a feature that is kind of overlooked, but it's very cool. So on the piano roll here, I have a couple chords here. Right, nothing too special, but uh, the cool part here is that with strum, it kind of emulates what it would sound like if you strummed a guitar or strummed some type of stringed instrument. And that you're going to find in the global panel on the bottom left. So it says strum here, and you have a couple options of up, down, alt, and random. So if it's on up right now, let's put our time all the way kind of high so we can kind of really see what's going on. So if we press play, so it's going from the lowest to the highest, kind of think of it that way. And we can see here in the, uh, in the spectrum analyzer as well that these notes are getting kind of staggered right there. And then the next knob here is the tension. So it's kind of saying, so this is very linear type of sounding. So with this tension knob, we can kind of change that a little bit. So that last one kind of lags just a little bit. And if we put it the other way, you have a very different feel to it. So this is definitely a knob to kind of humanize it a little bit, I would say. And then the next feature here is going to be down, which is basically the exact opposite, going from high to low. Definitely very cool. This alt one is actually very interesting too because it'll alternate between up and down for, for multiple chord progressions. So something like, you'll, you'll see. Very, very cool. And then random, as you probably would guess, is random. It just picks whichever one that it thinks of. Very cool. I'm not really that much of a random guy in that sense, if it's kind of note based, because let's say you print a mix and someone loves it and it's great. And then you have to do a change to it and then you reprint it, then it's going to be random. and The notes are going to be different. And yeah, so that's kind of my take on it there. Definitely a very cool addition to the strum as well because you can just lay down a couple chords and kind of simulate like you're playing a string kind of sound and if i had maybe let me see okay i had a glockenspiel that i made not too long ago maybe see what that would sound like let's put strum on and let's put time up kind of drastic and some, some tension so it might be kind of cool something like that without having to manually change and move the notes because you have two knobs here that you can play around with Definitely pretty cool. We went a cute pluck that I made a while ago. Very cool feature. I think very underrated and looked over quite a bit. So play around with the strum. It's very cool. And hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.